This is me. This is my cat. Bug. This is our van. And I will build it into our home. And you are welcome to follow along. Hi, and uh, welcome to my random corner of the world. Uh, today I'm just sitting in my van. And uh, yeah, looking back, thinking about how far I've come. That's very important, because sometimes it feels like you're just standing in a circle and stomping around. Going round, round, round. Uh, but things have actually happened, so I thought, uh, why not show you around? But first, I can show you some of the things I have been doing uh, that I don't think really needs its own video. So. Here I'm making the beams out of the plywood Whoops. and uh, these are for the ceiling and I don't want the screws to stick out so I'm making the holes a bit bigger with the tool I had a really big drill so the head of the screw is inside the beam so the ceiling can lay flat on this beam and the screws won't be in the way and when I started this journey I could not handle a drill I didn't understand how you could hold on the front of the drill but you can and uh, keep this setting low and uh, it won't hurt you hold the front of the drill to adjust the size in the hole and make sure the drill bit is in there firmly and yes, I was that inexperienced. Anyhow, here they are. Then I sanded them down and uh, then I covered them in uh, linseed oil and put them up. And another thing I have done is to put a smaller ventilation uh, thing on the roof so uh, fresh air can get in ventilation is very important to prevent mold and to prohibit uh, moisture so this is my get up now my dad didn't like me using this tiny ladder so now i use this big ladder and protect the car with towel and yeah vacuum very important when installing this ventilation, I use the same principles as the with the fan. So you can go watch that video for some tips and tricks. That's why I thought it didn't need its own video. And if you have any questions, just write me a comment. Let's go. Okay. This is what it looks like right now. I have insulated some. Did a puzzle around the locking mechanism. Very important that this still works, of course. And also the lock. I've put up some beads in the ceiling and now I have pipes here and fishing line so I can just draw the cable in there so I can put up the ceiling. I just need a pair of extra helping hands so I have to wait for that because I only have two and uh, I'm using plywood that is uh, four millimeters thick and uh, that's very sensitive or fragile. And so I feel like I can't really handle that on my own, not at least to put it up and try if it fits and um, yeah, screw it up there. So I need help with that and yeah, this is insulated now. I'll put a plywood with insulation under it in here. Here I experimented p 
putting uh, a beam on the side here. So, yeah, screws on the top and two over here. Then on this metal thing, and two here, two one there. And be very careful not to screw into cables. So if I would have done it higher up, there's cables in here that goes up front. So I was very careful with that. Here are the end pipes to the lamps. Yeah, I've covered all the metal over here with Armaflex. So I'll keep doing that over the whole car. And up here I put a ventilation. Da -da -da. So you can close this or open this to get some airflow. And yeah, next step is either to put in the windows, one here, one there, or I'm going to do the floor. Because it's finally over five plus degrees here, so uh, I can start doing whatever I want, and that feels great. So, um, but I need a pair of extra hand with the windows as well, so someone can hold them up while I go around and screw on the inside because uh, that would suck if they fell out when I run around and start screwing yeah that wouldn't work uh, so yes that is what's up yeah the floor I can I will try to do it myself because yeah it might be heavy but I think I can handle it, so just uh, very hard with the windows and the ceiling because it might break, I may, may break things and I don't want to. Oh, hello little bee, how are you today? Welcome yeah, into my home, but this is my home, not yours, just so you know, you can be my guest. What are you doing? Don't disrespect my house. Sorry. Oh, see you another time. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So yeah, now you know how it looks right now. Hopefully I can start doing the floor. Maybe today I have to clean it first. And I'm looking forward to be done with the windows so I don't have to take the saw to my car anymore. I want to be done with that part. It's not really the funniest part, 